A judge decided today there is enough evidence to send the parents of the accused Oxford shooter to trial for involuntary manslaughter. The decision came after hours of testimony about James and Jennifer Crumbly's actions leading up to and on November 30th. Local 4 defender Sean Lay has all the new developments. And Sean, I know the father of one of the shooting victims was watching today's proceedings closely. Right inside the courtroom, Kimberly in Devon, the father of Tate Meir. Tonight he is saying, based on the testimony of the school counselor who was on the witness stand today, he says he believes Oxford Schools owes him and the other families an apology. Here, the counselor comments on not checking Ethan Crumley's backpack when he had concerns about him the morning of the shooting. And at no time did you look in Ethan's backpack, correct? Correct. Oxford High School counselor Sean Hopkins being grilled by the attorney for James Crumley, Shannon Smith. Smith working to establish that blame for the shooting does not lie with Ethan Crumley's parents. She's pointing at Hopkins, who wanted Crumley's parents to get him help the morning of the shooting, but Ethan was sent back to class. Smith says Hopkins was bound by law to report to CPS that he was concerned Ethan was being neglected. In this circumstance, after everything you describe about mom and dad, you did not file a 3200 form with Child Protective Services alleging that there was a suspicion mom and dad weren't getting him proper medical attention. I did that. In court, listening to these difficult details, several families of those injured or killed, including the father of Tate Meir. The school hasn't contacted us. I'm not sure about the other three families. I'm sure they haven't. They owe everybody an apology. They owe our community an apology, right? Something went wrong that day, okay? And what they're trying to do is they're, they're trying to take the human side out of this, right? And they, and they want to make this all lawyer talk, right? Come on, come on, call me. Come on over, apologize. It's tragic and sad, and I'm, I'm happy and grateful that the judge did the right thing, and she knows the law, and... Um, and so I'm absolutely grateful, but again, it's, it's just tragic and it, it didn't have to happen. Also, new evidence that we heard inside court today, excerpts from Ethan's journal, Ethan Crumley's journal. Here are three. Quote, the shooting is tomorrow. I have access to the gun and ammunition. Quote, the first victim to be a pretty girl with a future so she can suffer like me. And lastly, my parents won't listen to me for help for a therapist. There's 23 pages of the journal at trial now for Crumley's parents. All 23 pages will be revealed then in court. Also today, guys, big picture here. Parents now uh, put on notice about securing firearms with these parents now going to trial for involuntary manslaughter. Back to you. So hard to listen to that testimony today. Sean, we appreciate it.